Hello students, good morning to all of you, how are you all? I hope you are all doing well today. So students, let us recall what we have learnt in previous classes. So can you tell me how can we find unit sector for a pie chart? Unit sector. Yes, the formula of unit sector, yes correct 360 degree and divide by total value, okay, that is the formula, okay, yes, okay, now let us start today's class and learn something new. Now here, uh, yes, game of luck 1, okay, so here you can see, now here you can see the different colors, guess the color at which the pointer comes to rest. Can you uh, guess students? Yes, you can see here yellow, red and blue, there are three colors, okay. So guess the color at which the pointer comes to rest, yes. In first, uh, in, in first trial you can see yellow, uh, yellow color, in second trial you can see yes uh, in uh, in blue color okay and in uh, third trial yes uh, the pointer comes to rest in yes red color uh, yellow color okay so and trial 4 when uh, we take trial 4 you can see here red color again okay so it's difficult to guess yes okay so, we cannot predict the exact outcome in this situation, okay students, we cannot predict the exact outcome because here you can see three color, yellow, red and blue color. So, we cannot predict the exact outcomes, okay. Okay, now see uh, this game of luck 2 here, okay, tossing a coin. So, when we toss a coin, so, uh, yes, two outcomes possible, head or tail, okay. So, when you can see here, throwing first time, yes, so you can see here, yes, tail and when we uh, throwing second time, you can see the, yes, tail again, okay. And third time, yes okay head okay so when uh, when we toss a coin so two possibilities tail and head okay so we can't predict the exact outcome in this situation okay tail and head and uh, here two situ uh, two outcomes possible okay tail and head and we can't predict the exact outcome okay now see uh, one more game here game of luck 3 rolling or throwing a die so when we throwing a die what are the possible uh, results can you uh, tell me yes the possible results will be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay there are six possible results here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so possible results 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now can you guess the number? Possible results are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, when we are uh, throwing one time, yes, the outcome you can see the outcome is 4 here. Again, uh, when we throwing a die, you can see the outcome is 1 here. Now, the outcome, yes, that is 6. So, we cannot predict the outcomes, yes. Okay. So, in all three situation you can see spinning the wheel or rolling a die or tossing the coin. In all three situation, these situations are considered as experiments. Okay. These situation are considered as experiments. And why experiments? Because can the result of these experiments uh, be predicted, uh, predicted or not? Of course not. We cannot predict. Okay. So, Yes, no, we cannot predict the result here. So, those experiments whose results cannot be predicted in advance are called random experiments. Okay, so remember always random experiments means yes, we cannot predict 
we can't predict it the results in advance ok yes ok so that is random experiments in this lesson we consider such random experiments ok so today we will learn about the how to consider uh, random experiments ok random experiments and much more yes so few terminologies related to the chance in experiments ok so art of prediction now here Yes, an experiment of rolling, throwing a die. Okay, so you can see. Uh, yes, there are six possible results. Okay, so uh, rolling die that is random experiment. Okay, each throw that means here one trial. Okay, each throw means one trial here. Okay, what are the possible results of this experiment? Yes, there are six possible results. Okay, one, two. 3, 4, 5 and 6, ok. So, now possible results are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, ok. And here results means, so in uh, mathematics term results means outcomes here, ok. Result means outcomes and possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is it possible for us to predict the exact outcome of this experiment? Yes or no? Yes, of course, no, we cannot predict, ok. Yes, so trial 1, ok. Let us see here, uh, when we throwing a die, so you can see the outcome that is, this happening is called an event, ok. This is a, an event here, ok, an outcome. So, now, symbolic representation of an event that is E, that is E, ok. An event means one incident, ok. Yes, this is an event or getting uh, of getting number 6, this is an event of getting number 6 with a single outcome 6, you can see here the outcomes that is 6 here, ok. Now, second trial so, second trial means yes, second experiment here. So, you can see now, uh, yes, the outcome, uh, the outcomes is uh, 4 here, ok. So, outcome, this is an event of getting number 4, this is an event, ok, of getting number 4. So, symbolic representation of event, remember always that is E, ok. Now, here 6 and 4. So, this is an event of getting number 6 and this is an event of getting number 4. So, there are two event here, ok. One when 6 comes and second when 4 comes, ok. So, that is uh, there, there are two event E1 and E2. Now, ok, let us uh, see the trial 3 here. If we, ex uh, yes, you can see expect an odd number, if we expect an odd number. So, odd number means, yes. Uh, in this situation, then the possible outcomes are, you can see, uh, there are 6 possible outcomes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, ok. And odd number, yes, odd number means uh, here 1, 3 and 5, ok. There are 3 outcomes, 1, 3 and 5. Then the possible outcomes are, you can see, 1, ok, that is the first outcomes and uh, 3, ok, and another one, yes, that is 5, ok. So, there are 3 possible outcomes. So, if we expect an odd number, then the possible outcomes are 1, 3 and 5, ok. This is an event of getting an odd number, ok, and here, yes, E3, ok, we can represent E3 not that an every uh, that event may consist of more than one outcomes too. You can see here there are three uh, outcomes ok, 1, 3 and 5. So, remember always an event may consist of more than one outcome too, ok. Yes, collection of possible outcomes of a random experiment makes an event. Okay, students, remember always collection of possible outcomes 
of a random experiment makes an event like uh, you can see here odd numbers so 1 3 and 5 there are uh, three possible outcomes okay so that is also an event here yes now what is the event of getting a number less than 7 yes can you uh, can you tell me event of getting a number less than 7 in a die yes you can see here all numbers are less than 7 so yes the event you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 all number are less than 7 yes an event consisting of 6 outcomes here yes an event consisting of 6 outcomes because uh, yes all numbers are uh, less than 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 and now here you can see uh, that is our event 4 and this event yes ok now here you can see trial 5 ok uh, what is the event of getting a number more than 6 so can you tell me event of getting a number more than 6 yes you can see all numbers are yes less than 7 and more than 6 is it possible no it is not possible and the event the name of this event is that is e5 an event of getting a number more than 6 yes that is empty we, ca uh, we cannot expect a number more than 6 ok we cannot expect a number more than 6 because you can see here all numbers are uh, yes equal to or less than 6 ok so it is not possible so this event will not happen at all ok this event will not happen at all yes that is impossible event that is impossible event students ok remember always impossible event now here rolling throwing a die when possible outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 ok and event of getting a number more than 6 event of getting a number more than 6 so uh, more than 6 yes event of getting a number less than 7 yes 1 2 3 4 5 6 all uh, all outcomes are here ok and now event of getting number 6 so you can see only one outcome uh, possible so an event may consist of one outcome several outcomes and no outcomes you can see here in the first uh, first situation that is uh, yes no outcomes here ok because getting a number more than 6 so it is not possible so that is an uh, yes not no outcomes here in uh, in the second case you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 all possible outcomes are here ok and in the third one there uh, there is only one outcome ok so an event may consist of one outcome several outcomes and no outcomes ok yes ok student now it is question time an event may consist of ok and I am giving you 30 seconds which option is correct here one outcome several outcomes no outcomes and all of the above so an event may consist of ok so yes tell me the answer which option is correct here yes ok student times up the right answer is yes all of the above ok an event may consist of one outcome several outcomes and no outcomes so all of the above are right here ok so option D is right answer yes now let us move the another part so here random experiment we see already in the uh, previous section ok spinning the wheel rolling a die and uh, tossing the coin so in all three situation we make predictions without any bias in all such experiments ok we make predictions without any bias in all such experiments ok now what happens if our predictions are biased ok so uh, yes let us see one uh, situation here ok yes our classroom 
So, select uh, selecting a monitor in a classroom, our teacher selecting a monitor in a classroom. Now, you can see there are 20 students in a classroom and one of them has to be selected as monitor. Okay? You can see there are 20 students in the classroom. Now, here only one, uh, one, uh, one student can be selected as a monitor. Yes. So, there is a chance that any one student among 20 may be selected. Okay? But hence the total number of possible outcomes is 20 here because anyone, any out of 20 can be selected. So, there are 20 possible outcomes here. Okay? Now, whom uh, does your teacher normally choose as monitor? Yes, can you tell me? Yes, sometime uh, the one who is good in studies or obtained good in sports will be chosen always. Okay? Yes. So, even uh, though there are 20 possible outcomes, the selection will be focusing only on few outcomes like who are good in studies, obedient, uh, sports. Okay? So, the selection in this situation is biased. Okay, student, in this process, the selection in this situation is biased. So, the occurrence of outcomes in this situation is not same for every student. Okay? Yes. Okay, now here. So, what is the, yes, how can we uh, choose unbiased monitor here? Okay? So, there is a trick here. We can uh, write the name of uh, all students in a, yes, like this in a paper. Okay? If the teacher writes all the names in the uh, slips of paper okay, and picks up one slip for the selection of monitor, so then every student will have equal chance. Yes or no? Yes, now you can see here, if uh, 20 slip of paper here. So, hence this kind of uh, selection will not be biased. Okay, yes. So the chance that every student to be selected as monitor is same. Okay, so that is a unbiased selection. That is a unbiased selection. Okay. The chance of occurrence of each outcome is same here. Okay, is, uh, and these outcomes are equally likely. These outcomes are equally likely yes now rolling a die so the possible outcomes are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so when a die numbered from 1 to 6 is rolled randomly the chance of getting every number is same here okay 1 2 3 uh, 4 5 and 6 all numbers uh, the chance of getting every number is same here okay so, that is random means unbiased here. Okay? That means the chance uh, is, yes, every number is same here. Yes. So, hence outcomes are equally likely here. Equally likely means, yes. Okay, now, let us see one situation here. Tossing a fair coin randomly. Okay? So, the possible outcomes, tossing a fair coin. So, there are two possible outcomes. Okay? random or we can say fair, unbiased. Okay? So, the possible outcomes, yes, head and tail. So, chance of getting uh, either head or tail is the same here, yes or no? Okay? Yes, so hence the outcomes are equally likely. So, in this situation, the outcomes are equally likely. That means, chance of getting either head or tail is the same here. Okay? Okay, now here we have one examples. Okay, so let's see the let's see here. A judge select and writes some topics in pieces of paper for an for an yes, extempore speech competition. If the subjects are marked as A, B, C, D, then what may be uh, the outcomes of uh, choices by a competitor if the competitor 
is allowed to select only one piece and second one the competitor is allowed to select any two piece. Okay, student, let us see here. This uh, now you can see there are uh, A, B, C, D. Okay, four outcomes. So the competitor is allowed to select only one piece. So in this case, you can see uh, there are only four outcomes. Okay, and now in the second question, the competitor is allowed to select allowed to select any two pieces. So now uh, first one can select A, B, second one A, C, third A, D. And now B, C, B, D, and C, D. So there are you can see uh, there are yes A, B, C, and D. Okay. So A, B, A, C, A, D, and B, C, B, D, C, D. So there that are the possibilities here. Okay. So find all possible outcomes when two unbiased coin are tossed. Okay. Let's see here two unbiased coins here. Okay. Now you can see the picture of two coins. So first possibility uh, maybe head head comes. Okay, in the second situation, yes, head and tail. In third one, yes, that is tail head. And in the fourth situation, is it possible to uh, yes tail tail? Okay, so there are four possibilities: head head, head tail, tail head, and tail tail. Okay, so when Yes, two unbiased coins are tossed, so there are four possibilities. Okay. Okay, students. Now it's question time. How many outcomes can an event have? Okay. So I'm giving you thirty seconds. Which option is correct here? Option A, only one. Option B, only two. option c only 3 option d insufficient data how many outcomes can an event have how many outcomes okay student time sir so uh, outcomes means yes No outcomes, several uh, several outcomes, and uh, yes, limited number of outcomes. So uh, we can't predict the answer here. How many outcomes can an event have? So only one, no. Only two, no. Only three, no. That means insufficient data here. That means option D is right answer here. Okay. Okay. Now let's move the another part. Now here uh, we have one more example here. Okay. Some event associated with the experiment of rolling a die are given below. Express the following events with the help of respective outcomes. Okay, so let's see. Now here, uh, first question: event of getting square numbers. Question second: event of getting odd numbers greater than one. Okay, let's discuss one by one. Okay, now here. first question you can see event of get, uh, getting square numbers now students can you tell me when uh, throwing a uh, throwing a die or rolling a die the possible outcomes how many possible outcomes yes the possible outcomes are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay there are six possible outcomes now event of getting square numbers so can you tell me uh, square number square numbers means yes perfect square number so here one the square of one that is one also okay uh, yes so one and four okay so all possible outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 and square number that means One and four here. Square number means the perfect square. Okay, so one and four the square number here. You can see one and four. Okay, now yes. Question second. Event of getting odd numbers greater than one. Can you do this? Yes. So first you see here the possible outcomes. Okay, so the possible outcomes one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now. Greater than odd numbers greater than one and student odd numbers yes you can see odd number one three and five here okay there are 
odd numbers greater than 1. So, greater than 1 that means yes 3 and 5. So, there are 2 outcomes. Okay. So, 3 and 5. Now, third one event of getting even numbers greater than 6. Okay, now, let us see uh, the possible outcomes and you can see the question event of getting even numbers, but greater than 6 is it possible greater than 6. No, it is not possible. Okay. So, the third one is empty set that means uh, here no event. Now, event of getting prime number. So, prime numbers student what is prime number? Yes, prime number means yes only two factors the number which have only two factors one and itself. Okay. So, here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 there are 6 outcomes. So, yes student is 1 a prime number or not? Yes, remember always 1 is not a prime number. Okay. 1 is not a prime number. So, first prime number is 2 here. Now, 3 and then 5. Okay. So, uh, 2, 3 and 5 there are 3 uh, prime numbers here. Okay. Now, event of getting uh, odd prime numbers. Now, odd prime numbers. So, odd number uh, odd prime numbers means 2, 3 and 5. Okay. And odd prime number. So, you can see 2. 2 is not a odd number. So, 3 and 5. The answer is 3 and 5. Now, last one event of getting even prime numbers. So, you can see event of getting even prime number that is 2. Okay. And 2 is only only one uh, even prime number students. Okay. So, remember always. Yes. Okay, now it is question time. I have a question for you. Which of the following is a uh, sure event when we throw uh, throw a die? So, here op, uh, I am giving you 30 seconds. Okay, which option is correct here? Getting an odd number, getting multiples of 3, getting a natural number less than 7 and getting a number more than 6. Which of the following is a sure event? Sure uh, event. Okay, students. So, here you can see sure event means students when the possible outcomes and total outcomes, the number of possible outcomes and the number of total outs outcomes is equal, that, mean, uh, that means the event is sure event. Okay. So, here you can see getting an odd number. So, uh, when we throwing a throw a die, so possible outcomes. Uh, total outcomes is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 okay. and getting an odd number. So, 1, 3, 5 here. So, uh, yes wrong. Okay. Getting multiple of 3. No. Okay. So, in a getting a natural number less than 7. So, you can see less than 7. All numbers are less than 7 and all are natural numbers. Okay. So, yes option C is right answer here. Getting a natural number less than 7 is a sure event. Okay. Yes. So, time up. the right answer is option C. Okay. Okay. Now, let us move the another part. So, how to make predictions using numbers? Okay. So, here three situation we see already in the uh, previous section. Okay. Spinning the wheel, rolling a die or crossing the coin. So, chance of occurrence of a particular outcome is calculated using probability. Okay. The topic is probability. So, probability of an outcome in a in a random experiment, the formula of uh, probability that is number of chances that the outcome happens and divided by total number of outcomes in the experiment. Okay, now, see the situation here. Okay. You can uh, see tossing a coin. Okay. So, in this case, there are two possibilities head and tail. Okay. So, there are only two possible uh, possibilities in uh, this experiment. Okay. So, getting head or tail is one possibility out of two possibilities okay. and uh, other one chance of getting either head or tail. So, you can see 
total possibilities, total outcomes that is 2 and 1 divided by 2 because here uh, one, uh, one possible outcome said and one possible outcome said. So, total outcomes that is 2 okay, and uh, either uh, getting uh, head or tail that is 1 by 2. So, 50 percent chance. Okay. Now, uh, uh, rolling a die you can see there are 6 uh, outcomes. Possible outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, there are only 6 possibilities in this experiment. Okay. There are only 6 possibilities in this experiment. Now, getting any number 1 to 6 is one possibility among 6 possibilities in this experiment. Okay. So, probab probability of getting any number 1 to 6. So, that is yes total outcomes that is 6 and yes uh, 1 by 6, 1 to 6 any number probability of getting any number that is 1 by 6. Okay. Yes, that is 16.6 percent. Okay. Now, here probability of getting either head or tail that is 1 by 2 and probability of getting any number uh, to 1 to 6 that is 1 by 6, 16.6 percent. Now, spinning the wheel. Okay. So, let us discuss about the uh, wheel here. So, you can see there are 3 colors red, yellow and blue. So, you can see red color there are 3 portions, yellow color only 1 portion and blue color 2 portions okay. and total number of uh, yes chance of winning uh, is more if we select red color. You can see because red color here 3 portions. Okay. So, what is the chance of getting red color? Yes, so students total outcomes you can see total outcomes are 6 here. Okay. 3 plus so chance of getting red color that is 3 and total is 6. So, the probability is yes the formula of probability is possible outcomes upon total outcomes and possible outcomes you can see 3 uh, the red color that is the possible uh, outcomes 3 and total outcomes is 6 here. So, the answer is 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2 that means 50 percent we can uh, write in fraction form that is 1 by 2, 0 0.5 yes in uh, decimal form, 50 percent in yes percentage form okay. and probability of getting red color that is 0 0.5 50 percent here. Okay. There is a greater chance of getting a red color. So, there is a greater chance of getting a red color you can see because the red color is here 3 portion ok 1, 2 and 3. So, spinning the wheel now here yellow color can you tell me the probability of getting yellow color? Yes, you can see total uh, possible total outcomes is 6 here and chance of getting yellow color that is 1 here. So, 1 by 6 the formula of probability that is uh, yes. Uh, possible outcomes upon total outcomes. Okay. So, possibility of getting yellow color that is 1 by 6, okay. 1 by 6 that is 16.6 percent. So, there is a less chance that the result is going to happen. Okay. Now, here probability, probability of uh, blue color can you find this? Yes, you can see students the possible outcomes of blue color that is 2, chance of getting blue color that is 2 okay. and total outcomes yes that is 6. So, the formula is uh, possible outcomes upon total outcomes. So, 2 by 6 and that is when we solve. So, 1 by 3 here 33.3 percent. Okay. Yes, okay, students uh, now it is question time. I have a question for you. The total number of possible outcomes when we throw a die is, oh, it is pretty simple questions. Okay. Uh, I am giving you 30 seconds. Which option is correct here? 3, 4, 5 and 6. We already discussed about uh, die. Okay. Uh, yes, possible outcomes 3, 4, 5, 6.
Yes. Yes, students. So, uh, possible outcomes in a die. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Yes, there are 6 possible outcomes. Okay. So, the right answer is option D. Okay. Now, let us move the another part. So, here uh, we have one more example here. Okay. In a bag, there are 15 red, 10 blue and 5 yellow marbles. If a marble is uh, from the bag, then uh, yes, what is the probability of getting red, blue, yellow, blue or yellow marbles? Okay, so let's uh, do one by one. Okay, so uh, here total number of marbles. So you can see 15 plus 10 plus 5. Okay, 15, 10, and 5. So total number of marbles that is 30. Now find out the probability of getting red color. Okay, so probability of getting red marble that is uh, yes, 15 by 30. Okay, so 15 by 30 that is uh, 10 by uh, and second one probability of getting blue marble yes 10 by 30 and third one yellow marble so you can see yellow that is 5 and the total that is 30 so 5 by 30 okay and probability of getting blue or yellow marble so students in this case blue or yellow that means yes blue and uh, blue or yellow so here 10 blue marble and 5 yellow marble so, 10 plus 5 that is 15 by 30, okay. yes, okay, now it is question time, okay. the total number of possible outcomes when we throwing a uh, single coin each and I am giving you yes 30 seconds, okay. it is a pretty simple question, uh, throwing a single coin and uh, yes possible outcomes in a single, uh, when we throw a single coin which option is correct here option 1 option a1 option b2 option c5 and option d6 okay yes yes okay student times up the right answer is option b okay head and tail head and tail there are two uh, outcomes head and tail only okay Yes, okay, so uh, students. Now, here uh, one more example in a pencil box 4 pencil are violet, violet color, 3 are blue, 5 are of red color. Okay, so uh, in a one pencil is chosen randomly from the pencil. So, then what, what are the chances of the pencil violet and blue? So, it is pretty simple question. Okay, total number of pencil find out the total number of pencils. So, 4 and 3 and 5. So, 4, 3, 5 that is 12. So, possibility of getting violet pencil that is yes you can see 4 by 12. Okay. And second one probability of getting blue pencil yes that is you can see 3 by 12. Okay. 1 by 4. Yes. Okay. Now, it is question time. The probability of getting a head when we uh, flip a coin is. So, I am giving you 30 seconds. Which option is correct here? probability of getting a head head when we flip a coin is when a tossing a coin is yes which option is correct here 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 and 1 by 6 yes tossing a coin first find the total outcomes okay so uh, then possible outcomes divided by total outcomes okay student times of the right answer is yes when uh, when we flip a coin so there are two outcomes head and tail okay and getting a head yes that is 1 by 2 okay so the right right answer is option a okay okay now students it's a feedback question how do you feel okay i'm giving you 25 seconds so today i have discussed about probability okay yes happy quite uh, good satisfactory or confused so how do you feel today uh, yes okay student times up so Okay, it's time to over the class. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Okay, keep practicing. Uh, see you in the next class. Bye bye.
take care.